A motorcycle trip through West Michigan isn't complete without riding the iconic M22 Scenic Byway. Look in any Michigan motorcycle travel book, or for that matter, any Michigan travel brochure, and you'll find M22 in the Arcadia Overlook. Steve and I had ridden the northern part of M22 the day before. See the video link above. Today, we headed from Traverse City to Manistee to start M22 at its southern terminus and ride north. We headed southwest on some back roads where Michigan's lower peninsula starts to get a little hilly. For our first break, we stopped at Crystal Mountain Ski Resort, which we knew from past experience has several level two chargers. Steve's bike uh, doesn't have the range that mine does, especially in the cold, plus his battery's a little older, it's smaller. So we went ahead and stopped here. So they have this old Schneider electric charger here, just the two J plugs. This one's been here forever, as long as I can remember. And over here we've got two Tesla chargers, Tesla destination chargers. And I'm using my Tesla tap. I really didn't need this charge, but hey, I'm here, opportunity. And then on top of that, they've got a Clipper Creek. Talked to the guy when we were pulling in here, beautiful blue lyric he's a michigan fan so not surprised at the color anyway the plan is to go south through brethren and kaliva probably not saying that right. there's a glass bottle house i want to see then down to manistee probably get a bite to eat uh charge again and then we're going to go up m22 Bottle house. Oops, bottles are all cemented in there. It'd be cooler if they put lights behind it. Northwestern Bottling Works. Yeah, if you look at the bottom of the bottles, most of them say Kaliva. Lunch at my favorite stop in Manistee. North Channel Brewing with the red E chargers across the street. All right, who's gonna get the working one? Oh, one of these doesn't work? <laughs> one time I was here, I couldn't get it to scan. You gotta to touch the screen, the QR code down there. Oh, oh that's a cool idea. At least with Google, uh, it does auto save my credit card. Well, that's uh, 20% right now. I know I said 14 a minute ago, but it's already magic charged. Steve knew about a site just north of Manistee where there is a small grove of sequoia trees. Wait, what? Sequoias in Michigan? You betcha. Right near Orchard Beach State Park, where I did a charger review, is Lake Bluffs Farm. It's worth a quick stop to check out the old and new growing redwoods. It is pretty big. Not like the ancient ones out west, but still, there's a little one. Not a bad view. It's a great place for a picnic. We got a table right here. Time to move on to the main event, the M22 Scenic Byway from Manistee to Frankfurt. You can see quite a bit of scenery from the road, but don't pass up Inspiration Point in Arcadia. It's worth the stair climb to get an awesome view of the shoreline and the dunes. Just south of the town of Alberta, there's a small cottage resort called Wayfarer Lodgings that has both a Tesla and a J1772 Level 2 charger. I had lobbied for this accommodation for this weekend trip, but since Steve wanted to go camping, we opted for the state park. Never mind that he actually slept in his heated car. Anyway, Wayfarer is a seasonal set of cottages that are open from April to October. Maybe next year, this will be a good jumping off point for a regional e-motorcycle event. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We made a brief stop at Storm Cloud Brewing in Frankfurt. Unfortunately, this time of year, the tap room is not open. And now we're going to Empire. Empire, bakery, coffee, gelato, something like that. One more quick stop at Point Betsy for the famous lighthouse and a glimpse of the surf. We 
stop for a coffee at Grocer's Dot. You got an ice cream and a level one charge. And now we got 28 miles to go. My bike's at 90 miles of range, 61%. It's all his fault. I needed a coffee anyway. Yep. Have a good one. 172 miles today. What's your battery at? 2%. 2%. So you're not in the 0% club. Steve's going to be taking off. I'm staying one more night. And tomorrow I think I'm going to do Sleeping Bear Dunes Pure Stocking Drive. He's got to go back to work for the benefits of retirement. See y'all later.